Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City. So we back with a brand new sneaker review today. We're going to be taking a look at the KD-12. This is a brand new silhouette right here. This is the first launch of the KD-12s. Let's make no mistake here. KDs, they're not trying to be all fashionable. They're not trying to make a fashion statement with this sneaker. They're trying to make a comfortable shoe for basketball players or for athletes. And I feel like that's dope. You know, a basketball player that's actually coming out with sneakers that are comfortable to play basketball. It doesn't always have to be, you know, in the luxury lane or the fashion lane, sort of like Jordans or anything like that. This is just a straight basketball shoe. It's super comfortable. There's a lot of technology going on with this sneaker. I got all the specs and all the details coming. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so we have the KD-12s right here. This is the first of the silhouette. Nike unveiled these sneakers a while ago, and here we have them in hand. It's a lot to talk about, so let's just go ahead and dive into the details. First and foremost, the official colorway on this sneaker is just going to be black, pure platinum, and white, all right? Retail comes in at $150. Now, when I first look at this sneaker in hand, off top, it just reminds me of a Kobe shoe. I don't know why. I think it just has something to do with this heel right here and just kind of how it slopes down. It is kind of like a low slash mid top sneaker. It's kind of weird how those Kobe's used to be, but that's the vibe that I get with this sneaker. And I will say, I personally feel like this is going to be the ultimate basketball sneaker. So for all of you guys who play basketball, all you guys who work out, maybe if you, even if you just go to the gym, this is going to be the perfect sneaker right here. This is just something different. So let's just go ahead and dive into the details. You know, nothing groundbreaking as far as the colors go. You know, the color, you know, we just basically have an all black up, up top there, but the material they decided to use right here, it's kind of like a synthetic mesh right here. You know, it's just something different. It reminds me of those Nike React shoes. Um, you know, it just kind of adapts to your foot. It adapts to the wear that you give to the sneaker. So that's the material they decided to go with on here. It's extremely comfortable if you ask me. And then we do have, you know, this dynamic fly wire. You know, you can get you can get into a lot of details when it comes to that, but it's really just supposed to make everything feel a lot more tight, a lot more secure when you're talking about that. You know, we'll dive into that just a little bit later. And then we do have our Nike Swoosh right here. That's seamless. It's not like, um, you know, embossed or anything like that. It's kind of just like a screen print onto that mesh there. And, and you guys can see we do have a full length nike zoom bubble right there you guys can see that and then we do have our translucent sole you guys will be able to see through there i love this little iridescent kind of vibe that we get down there you guys can see through and then it just kind of gives off like this little purple hue i like that we do have our kd branding right there as well let's go ahead and take a look at the tongue this tongue right here it's like a nice mesh material and it's just kind of like a multi-color layered material there we have our our black, our whites, and our grays. Our laces, they do come in all black as well. And then we do have like this little thin paper right here. It's kind of weird when you actually look at that. You know, um, that's like an all white. It just kind of reminds me of like uh, those cookie sheet things that you put on your, your bacon pans. It's kind of funny, you know, when you actually feel that thing. But we do have our KD branding there as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the flip side of this sneaker right here. And that's where we're gonna get our quad axial fly wire. Like I said, it's just kind of like a multi-directional dynamic component. It's just, you know, when you, you, when you look it up and you read articles about it, it's going to tell you the dynamic of this this fly wire just goes in all type of crazy directions when you actually look at it but we can't really see that you we can see a little bit of it but it's a lot more to that you guys might want to read up on it it's pretty cool actually but uh yeah man like i said it's just supposed to keep your foot nice and secure you know we do have a, a, a little nike swoosh peep in there and then we do have an all white midsole there and then of course we have our synthetic mesh right here it's, it's something different because i feel like you know the kds they kind of went away with the the prime the prime knit material and the fly wire and all that other stuff and they just went with this synthetic mesh so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and take a look at at the back of the sneaker nothing too much going on there we still have our mesh and then we have a little pull tab right here let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the sneaker so you guys can get a hit of that you know we do have our traction pads this is you know a translucent sole so you will be able to see through and then if you look closely you will you will be able to see like these holes in the sneaker those are supposed to make the foam and the the nike zoom 
you know, more durable and more, you know, uh, stable. You know, it's just not gonna just be uh, flapping around when you're actually wearing that. It's going to lock that in there, man. So that's just another little technology that they decided to use with this sneaker. So it's a lot going on. It's a dope shoe, it's simplistic. I don't really feel, I don't really feel like this is, you know, the most stylish sneaker, but when you're on the court, you're not gonna look like you don't have no style. It's very simplistic, it's very responsive, you know, and it's very comfortable as well. And that's exactly what the KDs are going for. And this is the KD12, man. So this is basically what we have to look forward to. They will be switching up the colorways, but this is going to be the silhouette here. All right, guys. So drop those comments down below and let us know what you guys are feeling about these KD12s. Make sure you guys head over to Chic.com. These sneakers will be available there. And also make sure you guys head over to your local Chic store as well so you guys can get your hands on a pair of these there. So that basically wraps things up here. Make sure you guys drop those comments down below. Let us know what you guys are feeling about the brand new KD12s. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell, turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time we upload brand new sneaker content. Also, I gotta let everybody know about a subscription service that we offer. You guys can head over to Chic.com and check that out. We have three separate packages. Each one is going to offer you guys a free pair of sneakers, all right? You guys will be able to build an outfit. You will get some free clothing as well so it just depends on which subscription package you guys sign up for that's going to determine the free sneaker you guys are eligible to get it's a lot of dope stuff on there so make sure you guys check that out and also before we go you know we must leave in fashion i'm going to be hitting you with a 360 look of these sneakers but until next time i'm cj city i'm signing out we appreciate all the love